Republican Congressman from Utah, Chris Stewart, who is a Republican member of the House Intelligence Committee. Great to have you with us Thank tonight. You. Let me ask you, because you haven't seen the report yet. Uh, we expect in the coming days that will be uh, probably to Congress first, at least some portion of it before the rest of us get a look at it. To this point, as a member of the House Intelligence Committee, what have you seen with regard to the idea of collusion? Well, I mean, it's not going to surprise you to say that we haven't seen any evidence of that. I've been saying that for a year. Remember, the House Intelligence Committee released our report. We saw no evidence of that. The Senate Intelligence Committee released their report. They saw no evidence of collusion, conspiracy, or obstruction. Members of the FBI said the same thing, as have Democratic senators, even General Clapper. So I think there's some people tonight who are going to be disappointed that the Mueller investigation is concluded and there's nothing dramatic yet and, and probably won't be. But it can't be terribly surprising. I mean, I think reasonable people have expected this for months or even longer. Well, so again, as we wait to hear more, um, you heard Peter Ducey's reporting and he had some sound bites there from the House Intelligence Chair of your committee, Adam Schiff, saying if we have to, we'll go after subpoenas. This is what the House Judiciary Chair, Jerry Nadler, is saying. We'll see what, uh, what is made public. Uh, we'll react to that. And as I said, if, if it is not made public in its entirety, we will take, uh, we'll use a compulsory process. We'll subpoena the report. And if necessary, we'll, we'll, we'll we reserve the right to call Mueller uh, before the committee or maybe even bar before the committee. So is it your sense if they don't like the conclusions that go public from this report, they're going to continue to dig because they do want to see the underlying information. They yeah. say that they have a right to it and the American people do as well if you're truly going to settle this controversy. Well, I think there's two elements to your question. The first is, are they going to continue to dig? And absolutely they are. And if there's no evidence of collusion, then they're going to say, well, what about his financial transactions? What about his kids? What about his business? Their intention, and this has been clear for a long time, is to have some type of investigation, some type of cloud over this president up until the election. That's clearly their political motive here. And the second thing is implied with this. Look, we've been told for months, for a year, trust Mr. Mueller. We trust Mr. Mueller. And by the way, I have. And I've been willing to wait for the report. But implied in their threat is that they don't trust Mr. Mueller now, as in that he may be trying to hide something from them. And, and I'd maybe conclude with this. I have said for a long time, I hope every word, every sentence, every paragraph of this report is released to the American people. For one thing, this isn't truly national security. It's not like we have nuclear codes. It's not revealing sources or methods. This is a political conversation we're having here. This isn't national security. It should be released. And the second thing I think more importantly is this. If, if there's a single paragraph that is redacted, then people will point to that and say, yeah, but the collusion is in there. That's what they're hiding from us. See, they wouldn't tell us. I hope every word of this is given to the American people so we can look at it and on its face make a decision. Well, the House, I believe, had a unanimous vote to that point. Yeah. The president has said the same thing. I want people to see it. I'm confident about what's going to be in there. Um, do you think all of that will actually be released? I mean, we're talking about a lot of underlying uh, interviews, possible grand jury yeah. material and, uh, you know, documents, other things that there may potentially be names and contacts and foreign assets and that kind of thing that could be involved. Well, again, uh, there's two elements to your question. One is the report, the report that Mr. Mueller actually provides to Congress. And I think that will be, and I think it should be. The one be. from Barr. That's Mueller right. to Barr to That's you guys. right. That's okay. right. Exactly. Uh, and I think it should be. And I think if it's not released, it will be leaked, essentially. It will have most of that information There are 535 anyway. people who may be yeah, interested and, and in as, doing that. And as sad as that is, but that's true. Uh, now, there may be parts of that investigation, as you said, grand jury proceedings, some of the other in, uh, 302 reports and some of the other proceedings there. We may not have access to that. But if you trust Mr. Mueller, as we've been told we should, and as I have said we should, and as our Democratic colleagues have said they do, then you should be able to trust the report given to, to Mr. Barr, not have to see all of this other underlying evidence that supports that report. Yeah, we know aside from the Mueller report, there are many other investigations going on the Hill that you guys are going to be sparring about over there. In the meantime, Congressman Stewart, thank you for stopping thank in with you. us late tonight. It's good to be good with you. you.